Mahoning County Sheriff's deputies were training today on how to handle an active shooter. Now, it was important training because they have to be prepared. Officers have to keep away from thinking that it'll never happen here. There's an unknown person down there with possibly a gun. The first officer on the scene has become the most important one to handle a serious situation like a school or workplace shooting. Hey, drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! It seems like there's been more fatalities uh, when law enforcement might have waited, whereby now it's taught to engage immediately upon arrival. And today's training repeatedly took deputies through simulations of an active shooter. Be calm. Try to be calm. The situation can go from zero to 100 in no time. The training has no students or adults running around screaming, fearful for their lives. But it was stressful enough. There was a lot of yelling. Hands up! Hands up! Draw up the weapon! Communication is very important because they need to go between each other, tell each other what they're going to do, where they're going to move, how they're going to act. The officers were learning how to clear a building, get a weapon away from someone, and even handcuffing them. Sometimes they even had to fire their airsoft gun. It was an exercise, and the officers got a passing grade. Pretty good. Training is where you make mistakes, and then we teach them how to correct those mistakes, so hopefully, or if they don't, or if they arrive on a scene and they're is an active shooter, they make the right calls. That's the ultimate goal, learning today what you can put in use if the situation should ever arise. It's all about being prepared. Because you never know what type of situation you're going to go into. Today it's a school, tomorrow it might be a business, it might be a factory the following day. So all the training that's going in today might play into everything that you might encounter while being on the road. Now that training today was at an old Youngstown school no longer in use. Here's one thing which might make parents feel better. Today's training included three school resource officers who are on campus all the time. Now we also got three tips from police in case you're ever caught in an active shooting environment. You can see that video clip at WKBN.com.